that day still, it, it doesn't matter what, where I'm talking about it or who asks, it's still clear as day. A somber day for Hayward police and law enforcement across the country. Good evening, I'm Julie Hayner. And I'm Frank Somerville. The shooting happened about 3.15 this morning when Police Sergeant Scott Lunger pulled over a white pickup truck for driving erratically near the intersection of Myrtle and Lyon in Hayward. When I saw the phone ring, I just knew. Just kind of one of those feelings. Uh, you don't, there's no words because you just kind of already know. And I saw that my aunt was calling me. She was trying to talk but she couldn't get it out. And then my uncle got on the phone and just said, something's happened, and then I just knew. You know, I had to keep my girls. I had to keep them strong. I had to keep them, my focus on them. So it didn't really hit me until I stood in front of a flag draped coffin. And then it all totally became real, I guess. The girls' education was our primary focus, making sure that those girls got their education. We worked very hard to make sure that both of our girls could go. Having to support two kids in college <laughs> on my income was not even possible. We were contacted by police and fire, the fallen heroes, regarding a fundraiser that was being done. <laughs> they presented me with one of those big checks for my girls and it was amazing. I mean, it was just, what they did and what they were able to accomplish. Out of the goodness of their hearts, want to make sure that we didn't have to worry about anything. So they raised us money for us and no questions asking us a check and said, continue living your lives how you need to. And said, work hard, continue your dreams and don't let this stop you. So it was like hard to grasp because why would somebody who doesn't even know us want to be able to support us and be there for us and show us this kind of support? I'm going into my senior year at UC Santa Barbara. I'm going to be finishing my senior year with a major in communication and a minor in education. Because of the support of the Fallen Heroes, I was actually able to not work my senior year and just focus on school and myself and my own health. And not only did they, the Fallen Heroes do that amazing fundraiser, but they've continued to give. They've, you know, both of my girls have gotten scholarships to help, you know, continue their education. Like I said, we've increased our family and the Fallen Heroes has become a very important part of that family. Our whole lives, our dad told us, you have to be strong, independent woman, you need an education, you can't grow up and depend on a man to take care of you, you have to go to school, go to college, and the Fallen Heroes have been able to keep instilling that in us. We're able to carry out our dad's dreams and hopes for us, which is really, amazing and I'm really thankful for the Fallen Heroes. <laughs>